Right, so last night I discovered that um, this cap on this U joint is exploded. I had to drive about 35 minutes away down to Old Covington, Louisiana. This is the only one I could find close by, other than going like down to Nolens, which I didn't really want to. This is the new one from Extreme 4x4. And I'm just going to rebuild that one. And it's dark outside. It might not look that dark, but it's like proper dark can't see nothing i really do not like this whole time change bs but yeah definitely needs to go away not a big fan i guess i'm gonna work on the u-joints for the passenger side because i need to get those in so i can fill up the pumpkin we're gonna beat on this side to uh, extrapolate on the U-joint that's in there. Go ahead and grab your three-quarter inch. I feel like is a uh, is a good number for this, and we are going to. Okay. We might have a few more hits left. Here it is, in all its glory. Urgh. I think there's a rock in there. There's a rock inside of it. That's weird. And there's there's two rocks in there. Okay, cool. Sure. Why not? Got it. Okay, cool. Clean this up. Clean this up. And then uh, get it prepped for the new one. Just running my finger through it. It feels fine. But there's this little bit of a burr right here. So I'm going to run through and... Zip, 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 zip that out probably this side too because I feel a little bit there and uh, this side feels fine so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that I like it so I had to travel across the candy cane forest through Antarctica into the Lincoln Tunnel and then finally to New York City down to New Orleans just to get this one U-joint that I need <laughs> think this is the third one now I don't know I lost count also, I don't know how to count, so I don't know. But this is the one that I need. You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're the one that I need. Because this one has the C clips. The other one I had had the outer clips, like a TJ. TJs have the outer clips. This is a JK. LOL, not a TJ, so. Mm. I got what I need. Let's put it on. Yeah, 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 yeah.
we got to get them a little bit uh, closer in so we can get the, uh, the clippuses on them. Bam. Bam. Bing, bang, boom, bam. Nailed it. Alright, so I want to get the driver's side axle shaft in there, but I don't want to be scraping the tube. So I'm going to be trying something. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to see if we can like make like a, a bridge to get there. That's a bad idea. That didn't work at all. Okay. So we'll just we'll just tilt it up at an angle so it doesn't scrape on the tube. Is that it? Uh oh. We might have a problem with this greaser at the bottom. So I just loose leaf have the uh, steering knuckle on here just so I can check fitment because I'm pretty sure this grease cert is messing up with the rotation of the axle. So that's going to be fun. So I got the hub assembly here. How much clearance are we missing here? We're not missing it by much because I feel like if this is pressed up a little more with that, um, maybe we'll actually be okay. Hmm. I guess we'll have to rock it and just find out. And then if it doesn't work, we'll just take that grease start off. Throw some grease here, here, and uh, go ahead and try to do the reassembly. Get a little snug on there. All right. A little resistance, but not too much. I'm gonna go back in with the drive shaft and see if it clears that grease dirt. It may just self clearance. I'm gonna throw some grease on here and then we'll throw the hub on. I don't really trust that grease dirt in there, it's not a Well, it just broke off. Self clearance. Well, I'm glad I looked that up. It's 75 foot pounds. And also, I forgot to put the dust shield. So let's do that. We're going to torque them to 75 foot pounds. Stand up for this one. Torque. And now, time for the axle nut. I'm going to go ahead and do the, the new ABS, take off the old ABS. It's a bit of a pain in the butt because it's shoved all the way back up in here behind the, the strut tower. So that's going to be fun to, to get that. Sometimes you get lucky and you can just pop these little clips off and then pull the plug over so you can see what you're doing. Other times, no. Nah. And then I'll do the the new brake lines, the stainless steel brake lines. I also forgot to put the wheel speed sensor wire retaining bracket holder thing on here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Fun fact, the Carter pin was actually invented by President Carter. I don't think that's true, but anyways, and I don't think it's pronounced Carter pin either. I think it's like a Cotter pin. I don't know. Something's not adding up. I, uh, just remove both of the brackets. Hmm. So, I put the wrong hub on the wrong side. So now I gotta take the other hub off. 
and then put this hub on. Cool. So I got this side semi buttoned up with the correct parts and pieces. I got the brake line added in there. It's, uh, you know, no, no rotor yet, no caliper. Because I want to do some things, some extra things, with some stuff and things. So this is the side marker light, which has now been deleted because of this uh, aftermarket fender. So I got some plans coming up for this. And then I'm kind of thinking I might want to put a little spacer right there. On to the passenger side. I've got the steer knuckle stabbed in there. And now about to come on in with the rebuilt drive shaft. Okay. Well that's stabbed. this to here and I just had connected them and I was like wow that's kind of loosey-goosey and I opened when I opened the bag to get the the crush washers out uh, for the banjo bolts I noticed they had this plate I was like oh shoot I bet that's the mounting plate it's gonna be hard to see how dark it is but I went ahead and did it I got the caliper on brake line ABS track bar the steering link um, I didn't put the um, dampener on yet which all I gotta do is unbolt that and just put that back on there just to slipped off the bushing it should be good um, so yeah I could literally put a wheel on here and be done but the other side I didn't um, go that far so, that's tomorrow. I'm shutting it down. The mosquitoes are getting crazy out here. I just sprayed myself with a gallon of bug spray and they're still everywhere. So I got this all buttoned back up on the passenger side. Got the caliper on, got the uh, ABS line, got this with the actual bracket that's supposed to hold it in place. Did some bending on here to get this to fit and match up and reach. The other side I had this silver bracket flipped the other way so I was sitting at the top but if I did it this way it would be hitting into the shock mount. So lower side it is. One side done. And then I'm just kind of Casually ease it on in there. Yeah, I reckon that's probably gonna do it for tonight. Uh, got the rest of the passenger side buttoned up. Um, I found a uh, exhaust leak. I found the valve cover leak. A little bit extra something for the for the ride height, but for now. Hasta mañana.